Five rules to improve all of your tricks. This tutorial shows you how to manage your practicing by having a coach in mind. Tips in this video might not tell you how to do a trick specifically, but you will notice that they will help you more than typical trick tips later. So you can learn tricks faster and more reliably with these five rules. Okay, now I'll let you in on some secrets straight from a coach's brain. 1. How to check your stance and balance. You can't perform in any sport properly without natural standing position. As all sports have a basic standing position, snowboarding also has it and it helps to stabilize performance. So learning how to check your stance and balance is the first subject to improve any skill. You are always in an unstable situation while snowboarding, so your balance can't remain constant and goes from side to side, up and down, forwards and back. Here, I will introduce the four elements to check your balance while snowboarding. You can't improve your riding unless you learn these four elements. These ideas are pretty simple, but they are hard in practice. Most of the time, if you're not improving anymore, it's probably due to these four elements. Toe to heel balance. Also called edge to edge balance. When seen from the side, the head, hips, and upper stomach should be aligned straight above the board. Failure related to this balance is typically seen during turning and taking off for jumps. For example, on the toe edge turn with bowed upper body or on the heel edge turn with ankles extended and hips out far from the heel edge, they are all out of balance. As for the failure in turning, your unstable balance messes up your takeoff. This failure happens because your ankles are extended causing your knees to be on the board and not the toe edge. So your hips are far out from the heel edge. Bend your ankles so your knees are on the toe edge and your hips and head are on the board. Nose to tail balance. When looking at the body from the toe or heel side, head, hips should be over the center of the board. Failures related to this balance also typically can be seen on turning and taking off for jumps. For example, on a toe or heel edge turn, pressing the nose will cause your tail to slide too much. Taking off while popping on your front leg will cause a nolly. Advanced level snowboarders stand slightly back putting their hips on the back leg and head on the center of the board so it helps high level performance. Vertical balance. This is the balance of height. Bend your ankles and knees to find where your muscle perform best. Leg muscles doesn't work well if you're standing too high or too low. Also, if you're standing low, your hips and head will be out from the board, so keeping balance will be not easy. And if you're standing too high, your head and board are largely apart, which means it's also not easy to keep your balance. Failures related to this balance can typically be seen in turning, intermediate level jibbing and taking off the jump. For example, Many beginners can't stand lower, so they typically stand too high while turning. At the end of the turn, with this position will cause chattering, which the edge can't hold its pressure, so the board bounces outside of its turn arc. Intermediate level snowboarders are typically sitting low on jib items, so their head and hips are outside their board while on the very slippery obstacle. This position is not easy to control balance in. Also, some intermediate riders get low on the lip before hitting the jump. It is absorbing pressure from the jump 
and it also means that the rider is squashing by lip. So once again, your lower body should be at where your muscles work best so you can push and absorb pressure at any time. Rotational Balance We rotate our bodies to generate spins or turning and so on. However, if you rotate the other way or rotate too much, you will mess up its performance and it will cause you to lose your balance. For example, to start turns, we rotate our front hip and shoulder, but if we rotate too much to one direction, the board will start sliding. Also, if we rotate our hips and shoulders in opposite directions, turning won't start or you will fail because of losing balance. Even strong riders, when they generate spins, they rotate their upper body to opposite directions to prepare for generating a spin. And they feel the loss of their base so they can generate spins well. Rotation is a useful skill but must be used in a minimum angle. Too much rotation and rotating to opposite directions will cause you to lose your balance. In turning and freestyle riding, use those four ways of balance to analyze and fix your riding position. Not only one of those can be seen in your balance, but don't get confused due to the complicated positions that come from all four balance issues. Try to find out one by one from those four balances and fix your position one by one. Want to learn more with us and want more challenges? Watch all video tutorials that are only available on our website. You will get more of the world's best theories to solve your problem and boost your snowboarding skills. Get the world's best coaching methods based on the coaching of national level athletes. Boost your snowboard intelligence with us. Snowboard Dojo Wiz, an expert coaching intermediate snowboarders.